Back to the Computer Literacy 101 provided by VelaIT.net. My name is Francisco Miranda and I'll be teaching you this course. So let's carry on to the next slide. So today we're going to talk about telephone systems. And telephone systems, I'm not talking about just your everyday telephone system, the one that you have at your house. I'm talking about the full-blown enterprise business communication, right? And I just added that because, you know, I like to say, right? So let's carry on with the next slide. So this little section is going to be very, very uh, short compared to the network because there's really not much to cover. We can go in depth, but I'd rather not. This kind of can, can get really complicated and really nasty real quick. So let's start off with the POTS line. Uh, what is a POTS line? And it's not the POTS that you're thinking about. It's not these things. And those are in Denver, Colorado. You guys should feel bad for what you thought. <laughs> JK. Um, voice over IP. Um, voice over IP. Uh, very cool because this is what voice over IP. We get those cool Cisco phones that have those screens. And then they also do really cool stuff because they can do video over IP and they could, you know, teleconference and do all these fancy things that is very useful in the business enterprise environment. So let's carry on with the other one. And that's virtual phone services, which is best suited for small businesses whenever you're not a large enterprise sometimes you're like hey i don't want to pay a network engineer to design my voice network and you know to and then i don't want to pay a business administrator to administer the qos and everything so this is for small businesses when you don't have that money and capability and personnel capability to manage a big enterprise system so very interesting stuff to talk about. We shall carry this on on the next slide. And we're going to talk about the good old POTS line. And as you saw or see, this is a MFP icon. I usually associate MFPs with fax machines because usually MFPs have some kind of fax mechanism. I hate it because we just, most of the time, everybody is worried about scan or print, but there's some people, <coughs> government, that still use fax lines for some unknown odd reason and it's so terrible because most places have voice over IP most enterprises have voice over IP and that's what they use and they just scan the fax but I mean scan scan to email or scan to their network location but anyways um good old POTS line and POTS stands for a pretty old telephone system I think but like I said, it's older infrastructure that has been around for a while, and I'm talking about a while. These things have been since um, railroads, you know? Ro actually, you, you know what? Railroads, think about railroads. That's how old they are. Um, not saying that we, we still use railroads, but it's like I said, old technology. Um, they're copper lines, so they're, you can technically use an RJ45 port. And if you remember when RJ45, which because I didn't cover what the exact connection is, it's an Ethernet connection. Uh, and you could use it on the POTS line. You're just going to be using like, what, four cables? Well, it's actually two, but anyways. Um, it's low bandwidth. So technically, the it, it's low bandwidth because it uses less bandwidth than um, uh, voice over IP. But also the quality is so degraded. Have you ever um, called, I think, well, if you have an analog phone or call over a fax line, if you have a fax line with a, just plug in an analog phone over a fax line or whatever line you have and, you know, just listen to the voice quality and compare it to like a voice over IP, especially if you're um, using SIP, not, not use, if you're using SIP, that's it's kind of a lower quality as well, but you're able to notice um, it's available everywhere since um, there was a initiative to get these analog lines everywhere it's you have a pretty safe bet that you're gonna use this um, everywhere so every, every residential area every um, unless you're out in the wilderness every residential area every um, modern connected place will have a telephone connection um, that's how you get your, uh, dial up. So what's it? 56 kilobyte per second. You know, the thing that goes, uh, that sounds like the matrix whenever you're dialing in. Uh, I know you millennials don't know. <laughs> I'm a millennial too. 
who am I kidding? <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely older technology. It's available everywhere. Um, it's dial up, you know, the little skrrr, da, 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 you know, all that really weird noise. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, sometimes it's not reliable due to legacy infrastructure. So because it is based on older technology, I don't know if you guys have worked in a place where your phone lines are constantly down and it's not because it's not reliable because it's very simple it's very reliable if it if the infrastructure was just you know brand new or if it was maintained nobody's maintaining those phone lines um most likely nobody's gonna bother to maintain whenever you're running fiber and you have voice over ip so i expect the good old pots lines to disappear eventually because you know nobody's maintaining that infrastructure um they're very unreliable compared to voice over ip just because they have mul voice over ip has multiple routes to go that it could take um and this legacy technology is not that sophisticated and will not be able to route so um more information on that and if you want to hear a comparison about these uh, the older technology and the newer technology uh comment let me know if you want to know because i'm not going to go over it. it's very at least here it's very long and i already took a long time so on to the next slide so i just wanted to explain what the phone line was because i i feel like i didn't really cover too in debt so this is rj11 that's what you're, you're going to use for your fax machine and your analog phone lines and this is newer technology right here rj45 which is base one base 100 um i think it's base 100 base 1000 i can't remember don't crucify me and burn me over not giving you the correct information it's not this is just overview we're not gonna go in depth and go into the exact numbers um so only two technologies are going to use this rj rj11 so most of the time whenever we have rj11 cable oh um an auxiliary so but that's not even in the scope of this course um i'll cover that in the networking proportion uh, the networking course this is just an overview of general technology so generally you're only going to encounter this in plain telephone services and fax so that's the only if you're an it personnel that's the only uh that's the only thing that you're going to worry about and if you're just an office employee that's the only thing you have to worry about seeing an analog phone line there are other things like alarms this is my best alarm you know that use lines use phone lines they dial out they use a dialer and it dials a number uh, whatever it dials a number out so alarms use that um batteries so we have some batteries that use phone lines as well so like hey battery's low your system's about to shut down it dials out but that's way over the scope we're not gonna this is that's very specialized very rare so let's carry on to the next one and this is probably the most expansive topic because it is a technology a modern technology and it is evolving and there's a whole field just dedicated to this technology which is voice over ip and i would argue that it's video over ip as well nowadays with those cisco phones that have the little camera and they'll let you skype your buddies well technically not skype because we have go to meeting for cisco but other phones will support skype because you know it's part of the link uh, software suite or the Microsoft office suite. So let's carry on. It's uh, what is VoIP? It's voice over IP. So we're using voice, which we're going way past the 56 uh, kilobits per second that is allowed on a traditional line because what you're using Ethernet lines, which is RJ45, which have a larger bandwidth. Therefore, we're using the TCP IP protocol and I didn't read my bullet points. So let's go. So it uses the internet connection and protocols to send voice data. So it does use the TCP IP and that's a, that's a sophisticated technology. We're still using it today, even though it was developed way back in the seventies. I think I don't want to give you solid numbers. If you want to know the solid numbers, I'm just giving you an overview and I'm guesstimating because I don't keep these dates, but it was developed back in the seventies, somewhere around there. It's a 
some military project and then it was introduced to universities and then you know we have the internet um so it's definitely a broader protocol it allows you to do a lot more because it's not like the POTS lines, with the POTS lines, you had somebody, an operator, switching you over uh, to whoever you wanted to dial. Now it's automated, but, you know, back in the day, you know, it was like literally those tin cans that you have a string across. And that's pretty much the way it worked. And with TCP IP, we have routing. We have things like routing. We have a lot of sophisticated uh, technology like redundancy so much. And we could talk about it in quality of service, shaping, all this. But... We're not going to cover that. This is just think about like, hey, there's a lot of possibilities we can do because now it's on the on the TCP IP protocol. So it uses more bandwidth than traditional POTS lines. So traditional pot li POTS lines, if we were going to, you know, have that same quality, it's uh, compared to voice over IP. Voice over IP is going to use a larger larger footprint on your network than compared to like those little tin can phones. Um, so it does require more overhead because of TCP IP protocols. So just so I can elaborate on this, TCP IP protocols require certain stamps. So the voice data that you're sending has stamps. It has an IP, it has a port, um, it just has so much of a MAC address. It just has so much information because it is sophisticated. So it, it can be sent through a network and it needs to know where it's going to go. So it does have additional data that it requires just because it's using the TCP IP protocol. I hope that explains it. I will show a diagram. Um, check the course. If Remember, it's velit.com. Oh, sorry, velit.net. Forgot where it's .net. Um, so if you want to know more, I will post more stuff and I have a forum set up for you guys so we can talk about this stuff. Cool. Or just comment because I know this is going to leave a lot of questions. I know if you're like me, you have questions and you want them answered <laughs> and I'm ready to answer them. Um, it can, like I said, can be more stable than POTS. And like I said, can, big if on the can, if you have a network engineer that doesn't know what they're doing, they're going to set it up and it's going to fail. Or the quality of service, you know what, somebody's not going to do quality of service on your voice over IP and it's just going to run rampant and, you know, it's going to have a lot of uh, jitter and you're not going to be able to communicate. A lot of people are going to be angry and they're going to storm into the IT room and they're going to cut your head off. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But they, people will get angry when they're, you know, cutting on and off of a conversation. Voice over IP, very complicated, but very simple. Carrying on to the next slide. I hope I left questions. <laughs> and uh, this is a very uh, new one. It's uh, virtual phone services. And I used Google Voice, uh, Google Voice screenshot right here because it's very interesting to me. Um, this is more software based, but you do have a, you do have a traditional phone number um, and it uses the internet to transmit the voice. So this is just, this is based on the software level. So this is like the top, like the seven, layer seven, this is software. Um, so you skip through all, so the POTS lines, whatever it is, whatever it is that it's using, it's abstracted. So it's just like a big cloud. We don't care about the infrastructure. We don't do quality of service. We don't we don't get involved in those little building blocks that make the voice. We're just purely and solely focused on software. And that's why it's so attractive to small to medium businesses, because I don't have to hire a network engineer. I don't have to hire a network administrator or you know, it's something that I don't have to worry about. I just set it and go. It's like a POTS line, but like I say, it's more stable. If your if your lines go down, your phone service is not going to go down as long as you have internet. Heck, as long as you have a f cell phone that can forward those calls to your phone, you're fine. Like I said, it's more stable and I would definitely recommend it for small to medium businesses. Uh, Google Voice is probably... It's only going to give you one number. Uh, you have stuff like Grasshopper and there's more. You could Google search uh, virtual phone services. Um, they have, um, they could pretty much set you up like a, 
like if you had a Cisco system, so it would take voice voicemails, it would have extensions, um, it would do everything a full fledged, um, not everything because you don't have quality of service, but like I said, um, people are running these phone services for you so you don't have to worry about everything else so it's uh like i say it's software as a service um we can go into detail on this um if you have any questions leave comments i would answer them as soon as i can or join our community at velit.net sound like a salesman don't i and that's the end of it. Like I said, it was short and simple, not much to cover, but definitely a lot of subjects, a lot of little sub-disciplines within this subject. Um, so let's go over everything we covered. POTS lines, uh, pretty much what you need to know is that they're old and fax and regular analog lines. Uh, that's not what you think it is. I need to get a pen. And voice over IP. Um, which is a new internet. Just think about internet. Internet. And voice uh, virtual phone services. And just think about software that lets you call people. That's all it is. Um, like if you guys like this content, hit the little selling button right here and subscribe to our channel. If you were happy and satisfied like this happy guy over here, that's me right here. That's me today. I am ready to get today going. And I have so much stuff planned for you guys. Thank you again for listening through all this.